be more than human. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Joseph Carroll. I write under the pen name J.R. Carroll. And today we are going to go over my June wrap up. Now there were some uh, omissions from my TBR and books that I didn't know I was going to end up reading. Um, they kind of just snuck up on me. So we'll kind of go over that. But um, I do reviews for most of the books that I do. Um, there are some exceptions, which, you know, again, we're going to talk about. Um, so I'm not going to go into super detail on these. Um, but we'll just kind of roll through these and give a little little overview of, uh, you know, how I felt about the month. Uh, it was a pretty good month. I think I read one less book this month than last, but still, for me, this, this was a really good month. Um, this year has been a really good, uh, you know, reading year, um, especially as I'm coming towards the end of writing my third book. Um, you know, I'll be able to read even even more since I I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a couple couple weeks break before I roll into the next book. So the first book um, at the beginning of the month was our run through Dresden, Full Moon, uh, was book two. Um, we got into that and, you know, Full Moon, uh, you know, I think it's a very underrated book. Um, I think there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on inside the book and the loop guru is still to this day one of my favorite creatures uh, from the Dresden Files. Now, um, I also um, read Great Peril this month, um, and that's always like that. I don't know why, but that's always a book that sticks in my head because uh, when my friend got me into the Dresden Files, that was a book that he pointed to, and he's like, "Pay attention to this book." Um, so that, you know, that book always sticks in my head, and it was a, it was a good book. Um, I I really like it. Uh, I like a lot of the setup. Michael Carpenter you know, <laughs> is an amazing character. Uh, so and this is where he makes his uh, his debut, and then I also um, read Summer Night of the Dresden Files. I wasn't sure I was gonna get in, get to Summer Night, but you know, once you start reading the Dresden Files and you're into it, you kind of just want to keep rolling with them. But uh, I pulled myself back after Summer Night, and I was like, all right, that, that's enough for the month, because we, uh, I am planning on doing another big get together with everybody um, at probably towards the end of August, and that'll be uh, that'll be books four, five, and six. So, I really just got to do two books over the next two months. So, I'm trying not to get too far out ahead. I want everything to be as fresh in my mind as possible when we do the discussions. Um, then I also read Eaters of the Dead by Michael Crichton. Um, terrific book. It was my favorite book for almost ten years. Um, and I can still see why. I mean, I, I, you know, like I said in, in the review, it's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like list, you know, if you do the audiobook or if you read it, it's kind of like, um, you know, listening to your favorite professor tell you about your favorite subject, you know. So, you know, Vikings, Beowulf, it's all, all good stuff. Um, and then one book um, that I didn't know I was going to be, uh, you know, reading this month. That kind of snuck up on me was the newest book in the Expeditionary Force uh, series, uh, Match Game, and I was like, oh, and, and it's a it's a sizable book. It's not not a small book, but when my friends like, yeah, you know, it, it came out like a couple of days ago. I was like, oh no. So um, yeah, I spent you know spent some time on that, and it if. If you like um, 
you know, sci-fi, space, you know, they call, it, they call it like space opera, um, you know, military stuff. If you're um, trying to compare it, it's kind of like Stargate meets Mass Effect with a little bit of Halo kind of put into it. Um, and also the way it's kind of sold to me was Dresden in space, you know. Um, <laughs> so uh, I love love the series. Match game does not uh, disappoint, and it's leading up to it's. I, I I don't know. Maybe the next book is the last one, or he's got two more left, and it's. I think it's coming out at the end of the year, so I'm really excited about that. Then. Um, another book I did, I forgot that I had uh, I had a read along with was uh, we were doing Wind Through the Keyhole, and so I jumped on that, and um, it's basically a side story in the Dark Tower. Um, I want I want to say it takes place around the time of Wizarding Glass. Um, and yeah, it's just basically uh, some backstory, some more backstory on Roland, and just a big side story. It doesn't really give you anything like that would be like, oh my goodness, you know. But it's a, uh, you know, it's entertaining, and if you like the Dark Tower like I do, you'll take whatever you can get, you know, to add up more of the. Uh, more of the saga of Roland in the Dark Tower. Um, so yeah, and uh, I had a, a live discussion of that. You can check it out. Um, it you know it was super fun. Um, and then the last book I got in on you know and it was it was kind of fifty fifty. Um, I got it in right at the end of the month, and then it kind of kind of. <laughs> leaked over a little bit into this month, but that was Kill the Dead, the second book in the Sandman Slim series. Um, and this is a, another one of those series where it's just like, it's just fun. It's just fun stuff. And we, I think in BookTube a lot, um, people get stuck into this thing where they have to you know, it has to be a meaning to everything, and everything has to have these, uh, you know, these deep themes, and we, we want, you know, it seems like we want, you know, so much more, but, like, really, I mean, what was the original purpose of novels? Like, when they started writing novels, what, back in the 1400s, 1500s, it was to entertain you. You know, that's what it's all about. And it's, it's entertaining. Um, so um, that that is the, the wrap up for the month. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. We're headed towards 300 and you could be the next, the next winner. Um, I appreciate you all and I'll see you in the next one.